Before we dive into today's Soul Share interview, which I'm really excited about, I would like to step over here and see what sort of wizardry this is that my good friend Thank Vajra you, is cooking up over Thank here. You. Vajra, so, what is this about? You've been talking a lot about synchronicity, and the thing that brought us together in the first place was a, you purchased a painting of mine based on Plato's myth of the demiurge. Right. And so you call me up, and you're like, hey, I've got this amazing project going. And I'm like, that sounds amazing. I have the perfect piece for it. Turns out I'm currently working on another piece based on another platonic myth. This is based on the allegory of the cave. And so basically, long story short, it's uh, these people live in their lives their entire time in a cave. All they know is the shadows on the wall. And one day this person leaves the cave and they go on this little quest. They finally see the truth. They're blinded by it. They can't even process it. It blows away everything they've ever thought before. And when they go try to share that truth, the others down in the cave, everyone's like, oh, He's like, you know, a bird is feathers, it's blue, it's iridescent. And they're like, dude, it's a flat shadow. It just goes, you know, across the wall, that's it. And like, people call him crazy, but really like, you know, they just don't understand what he does. And so I believe our purpose is to get back to the cave, to share that truth. But um, one thing that I think is a, a pretty relevant theme is that Plato talks about the world of form, where everything exists as a perfect idea. So versus the physical world, that's a reflection of that world. So we've got the physical cave, but we also have this non-physical cave in the background where the pillars have kind of formed out of toruses and there's this like little like shining little trail, the idea of a trail still existing toward truth. But that in itself is a cave. And in the end, truth is more or less just a direction to point yourself toward. Mm. And there is no actual path to get there. <laughs> and so I wrote a poem that kind of summarizes my, my belief about this piece. And if, if it'd be okay with you all, I'd really like to share. Yes, yeah. please. Yeah. <laughs> So it begins with the words of Mara to the Buddha when he had that revelation. He's like, who's going to even believe you? What's the point in sharing what you know? Nobody can understand it. And so it begins with, so what? Who will believe you? No one. Contradict the going word. They'll call you crazy and absurd. Eyes in darkness have adjusted. Paradigms enthroned and trusted. Birth and death in cycles pass. While bones and fallacies amass, a seat of light you must return. And while the criticisms burn, you must continue shining bright that the rest may take their turn and step into the light. Few will ever listen, fewer still will heed the call that life beyond the cave is more than shadows on the wall. Remember though, these truths we've seen, the things we know and what we've gleaned are merely rungs in a great ladder. Opinions and convictions stack, but they don't really matter. And while you've been bold and brave, the cycle catches you again, realizing in the end, it's just another cave. And so, you know, I feel like oh. it was a perfect piece to share on this opening episode of yours because your show is all about sharing your truth, no matter how radical or how crazy you seem, because it's what we believe makes the most difference to the people still living in the shadow. Yes. And so that's why I said yes, brother. I'd love to be here. Ah, I love you. <laughs> epic, absolutely yeah. epic. The poem is just like this excellent bonus that <laughs> we couldn't have, wow, thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Happy.